Hey, we are two Star Wars nerds, and we are back talking about the Clone Wars animated series in chronological order, arc by arc, with standalone episodes, the best we know how. Gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> okay. We're trying. Yeah, we're trying. So this one, even according to Star Wars.com website, this episode Assassin, they even point out. I thought you said sassy. Yeah, this episode's sassy. No, assassin. This episode, um, even according to StarWars.com, just reveals how convoluted the chronology gets in this show. Because this is Ahsoka's like standalone arc after the events with Boba Fett and the events on Mandalore. And Zero the Hut is introduced. But then we also see Zero in Season 1. And you see Zero after this episode so things get really weird because it's like everything just starts getting all jumbled up and it doesn't really make sense um but let's do the thousand foot overview and then get into that's you the nitty gritty um so first this is the one where much like in revenge of the sith um you know you're having these force visions and ahsoka is having them of aura singh um, trying to assassinate Padme. And so Ahsoka's just really on edge and she thinks that Padme's life is in danger. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, essentially that's kind of the whole thing is that, you know, she's trying to protect Padme mm-hmm. as she's to give this presentation and they even use kind of like a body double with a droid and all of this. And that's where it gets to that tense encounter. You know, um, I think it's in Padme's bedroom, you know, mm-hmm. on, at this place that that she's speaking at and then zero the hut is brought in you know at the very end um but yeah overall really high octane there's a lot of action tension even though you know padme can't die you know um chronologically you know she can't but um but yeah what like what do you think overall of this episode I think this episode's pretty good. I really, what I really like about this episode is um, Padme, how she's willing to still speak, how she doesn't let fear stop her from doing what she needs to do. She's not silenced. She's not. She doesn't back down. She comes up with different ways, different plans, and she's like, "My voice will not be silenced." And so I really like the message that that sends. Um, and that she she doesn't let fear um, dictate her decisions and her what she's going to do. Um, another thing I really like, uh, kind of along with that, is how she responds to Ahsoka and how she's... Because Ahsoka makes mistakes in this episode out of fear because she's trying to protect Padme, doesn't want anything to happen, so there may be some irrational fear but there's a reality that is actually playing out so Ahsoka has to find this balance but what I really like is how um, Padme treats Ahsoka and how she trusts her and even when she makes that mistake in the bedroom it seems like everyone else is kind of like okay Ahsoka's a little crazy like maybe she's not fully maybe are these visions real but Padme seems to still Um, trust Ahsoka and let her fail and let her learn um, and trust her as her protector and as a a Jedi. And so those are the two things I really like the most about this episode. Um, And I think that's what makes it really cool for me is, you know, just seeing Padme stand up and not back down and seeing Ahsoka being able to learn and grow and fail and that it's okay. Yeah. And, and, you know, they paint a good picture too of, making the Jedi look like they're misunderstood, mm-hmm. you know, because they're like the space, uh, the crazy space wizards. And so it's kind of like, uh, we don't really know what to do with them. They've been protecting us and serving us, but right. they seem kind of crazy. Um, it's cool because you actually get, uh, just some notes that I have here, you get Bail Organa and Mon Mothma and this, you get Alderaan. Um, mm-hmm. they, they play uh, Leia's theme when Padme arrives and, you know, um, yeah, there, there's just a, you know, there's things where she, she even has just like the dress of the people. Um, she's sh- uh, she's shot, you know, when the protector is hurt, when um, Ahsoka gets hit, you know, she 
she shoots back and so it's it's there's a lot of mirroring and um tribute foreshadowing of mm-hmm. padme and leia here which is right. really cool um that's the stuff i always like you know yeah. when it points back you know points forward forward you know i'm back in time to the to the ot and mm-hmm. you know this just kind of like what the prequels was, was supposed to be you know mm-hmm. i think that that's really cool yep um you guys asked that we do these standalones and so here they are there you go that's that's a standalone episode it's not an arc but do we rate it yeah we can rate it you know i think what's interesting about this like all of you who are who are watching us go through this in chronological order the the show is very interesting because it was meant to be an anthology and then they started doing arcs and you know they it's it was kind of clean, but then the timeline is just so messed up. You know, mm-hmm. it's not very linear. Um, but, you know, it makes these little standalone one-on-one episodes kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, why don't you rate it, and then I'll give mine. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think about my rating. Uh, I think I'm going to do 7.5. You and your point point fives. Because it's not quite an eight, but it's not like a six either. Like I like the development and I like, I mean, one reason I really, really like it why it's getting a high rating is just Padme. I think Padme is amazing in this episode. Yeah. You know, um, even though I'm giving you a hard time for the point five, I'll agree, you know, um, and Aura Sing's actually super cool too. Yeah. No, well, I'll, I'll give it an eight, eight out of 10, you know, I think that, okay. uh, I think that the action's good. I really like Aura Singh and that mm-hmm. they, you know, I think she's really interesting mm-hmm. as a character. Um, and I like that you see, I mean, I don't even think about this, you know, um, you have, I mean, it, it's really centered around three strong female characters, which is cool. Look at that. And it's not woke, you know, even better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it needs, it, it's a eight alone, minimum. Yep. I bumped you up. Yep. There we go. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I like that you have um, Aura Singh and you have Padme and you have Ahsoka and this kind of intrigue. The the only thing that would kind of make me want to pull it back down is the fact that you know that Padme, like, you know she's safe because of the story. I think they actually do a really good job, though, creating that tension still. Because you, yeah. you know she's going to live, but you're like, what's going to happen? How's it going to play out? Does she get hurt? You know, even, yeah. I mean, she gets shot in it. So even just, I think they still did a good job at creating the tension, even though we knew she was going to make it. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. But let us know in the comments what you think about this standalone episode. It's really not a part of any arc. It's just kind of a bridge in between. Mm-hmm. Just going a little further with Ahsoka, what I think really. Because remember, this is Dave Filoni's show. And so he's making... He's building up Ahsoka more and more as the series goes on. And I think that that's what this episode is really about. Mm -hmm. So if you don't really like Ahsoka, you'll definitely not like this one. But let us know what you think in the comments about this episode. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord, hop in there. Link's in the description. And with that, may the Force be with you always. Always.